Moving on to football news now. The Under-19 International Tournament kicks off in KwaZulu-Natal tomorrow. It's the newest addition to the South African football development calendar. The Under-19 national team as well as the KZN Hoy Park Academy will face off with South American sides Santos FC and Boca Juniors. They will also play against European teams Everton, Aroma, AS Roma, rather, Benfica and Feyenoord. We're now joined in studio by Tournament Ambassador Matthew Booth. Matthew, thank you so much for coming in and speaking to us. Um, you're, of course, an ambassador, as I just said. How important is tournaments like these coming into South Africa and playing against um, international sides? Well, it's incredibly important, uh, seeing as though our development structures are uh, not so good these days. And, um, you know, tournaments like these are important to supplement our developmental structures and to be able to, you know, 17, 18, 19 is a very important year for us. And, um, you know, for, for, the, for, the, for the guys to be able to rub shoulders with the likes of uh, Benfica and Roma and, and Boca Juniors is going to be fantastic for and to live with them for the rest of their, their footballing careers. It's all well and good that we get these international teams coming to South Africa, but then how difficult is, is it for us as South Africans to play against these teams not probably having much international experience. Yeah, well, for various reasons, you know, our, our junior teams have not played much, uh, and that's why tournaments like this are so important for us to gauge where we stand on the world world stage at this level. Um, and I think it's a fantastic initiative, and I think um, it was um, a no-brainer for me to attach my name to to something like this, um, as as I would do to any any prestigious um, uh, youth uh, development program. How high do you expect the competition to be at this tournament? Oh, it's going to be extremely tight. Um, uh, you saw the teams earlier on. Um, those are not Mickey Mouse clubs. Those are well, well-known brands. Yeah. Um, Boca Juniors, you know, uh, Santos from Brazil uh, have got fantastic youth academies. They will be. They would have cherry-picked youngsters mm -hmm. from around the South American continent. Um, that would have would have been attracted to clubs of that stature. So um, you're going to be getting the best juniors um, coming out to Durban and um, likewise for the European teams. Looking at um, the final, of course it will be played at the Moses Mabida Stadium. What would it mean for a youngster uh, from KZN or somebody representing the country at under 19 level, what would it mean for them to play at a stadium? so magnificent as the Moses Mabida Stadium? Well, I'm a little bit biased. I'm from Cape Town, <laughs> so I still say Cape Town is the best, but Moses Mabida is a very close second, I must say. Um, it's a fantastic stadium. I always enjoy going down to Cape, uh, to Durban to, to play in that stadium. Mm -hmm. uh, for a youngster to get a chance to play in a stadium of that magnitude is fantastic. Hopefully in front of a, a big crowd, which uh, Durban, Durban people always turn out for football, mm -hmm. so that's great. Um, and not only to play in front of a in front of a crowd like that, to, but like I said, to play against uh, teams of that stature is just going to be amazing for them. Yeah. Let's look at the development structures of Argentina, South America uh, as a whole, as a continent, and then Europe. Um, what are we lacking that they are doing so well? I think they've got a they've got a direct ladder to success. There's a clear vision when a youngster um, of the age of uh, seven or eight, when he gets into an academy, he has a clear vision of where he has to go to become a professional and where he has to go to become uh, a national team player. I think in South Africa, it's a little bit vague for us. Uh, we've got too many rungs in the ladder which are missing, um, and I think we've got to start at the bottom and work our way up. And uh, hence the appointment of um, uh, Sheikh Mashaba, who's able to work hand in hand with the youth and I think that was a very intelligent appointment, I must be honest with you. You're talking about that appointment, um, has it always been that um, South African players resonate with a national, uh, a South African coach rather than an international one? Um, not in particular, I think you know guys, um, you know the journalists in particular, the media criticised a guy like Santana who they said couldn't speak English but the players got on well with him because he had a bit of character, he was a, he was a, a very good player in his day as well. And similarly with Sheikhs, um, you know, he's a fatherly um, figure. Players want to play for him, uh, in my opinion, and that's half the job done, really. Absolutely. Um, does he need to now take a whole a holistic approach with Bafana Bafana, or does he just stick uh, to, to concentrating on building the national team? Instead of actually what Gordon Egerson did, like he started bringing new players into the squad, does he just concentrate on Bafana Bafana now? Look, I think uh, it's, it's the message is clear to Sheikhs, he's got time. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would uh, bring in the broom and uh, sweep out probably 70% of the squad and take and bring in uh, fresh blood. 
uh, but it's very important to keep a balance. He, he can't get rid of all the experience of and he's got to be very choosy in who he keeps and who he gets rid of. What is your uh, vision for the future of South African football? Look, I'm, I've been one of the strongest uh, critics of, of SAFA and the way that they've uh, handled their, their development structures um, from LFA level up. Um, but I've always remained positive and I've always tried to be constructive. And we've got fantastic ability in this country and it's just got to be harnessed and kids have just got to be given a chance to shine. And uh, we'll get there. In uh, four to eight, eight years time, if we follow our plan, our vision 2022, we'll, we'll become one of the strongest teams in Africa again. Do you think we are uh, moving into the right direction with the uh, starting of a schools league and of course tournaments like this? Well, absolutely. And I think it's, it's a pity that we've, that we've only done this once we've hit rock bottom. Mm. But certainly that's a step in the right direction. How it's implemented, how it's managed um, uh, remains to be seen. I think um, we've got to get a lot more ex-professionals uh, uh, in, in the game who have made their money already and who have, who have got the game at heart. Uh, instead of these having these administrators and politicians in charge, you know, so <laughs> there's definitely got to be a, a bit of an evolution or a change going on. Are you going to be going to this tournament, looking at some hot talent, maybe take them to some of the local clubs? Well, absolutely. I don't think it's going to be my, only myself. I think uh, there's going to be a lot of scouts who are heading down to Durban, and uh, uh, entry is free. Um, so, you know, the um, the people of Durban, KwaZulu Natal, must get down there as well and support our boys. Absolutely, and we wish you all the best for the future and enjoy yourself in Durban. Of course, it will be a lot warmer than it is here. <laughs>